I don't want to offend all of God's wonderful uh, women, mothers, sisters, uh, many great women of God I've known over the years. I don't mean to offend you when I tell you there has been a feminization of the church in America at the worst possible time when we need godly men, manly men to step up into the battlefield. Uh, we're finding the ranks are pretty thin. Uh, how did it happen? Actually, you can't have a feminization of the men in the church without, to some degree, feminizing the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Jesus Christ is the model of a masculine man, a real man, a man who was uh, courageous and yet somehow and bold and uh, not certainly politically correct. But what's happened? Somehow, we who preach and teach uh, the Bible, uh, Christian leadership has feminized Jesus. And it's not a new problem. Uh, several generations ago, Dorothy Sayers, who was a friend of the great C.S. Lewis, said, our later generations have muffled up the shattering personality of Jesus. We have efficiently clipped the claws of the Lion of Judah, certified him as meek and mild, and recommended him as a household pet for pale pastors and pious old ladies. It's pretty powerful stuff. She went on to say, the same gentle Jesus, meek and mild, was so straightforward and so inflammatory in his language that he was thrown out of a church, stoned, hunted from place to place, and finally labeled a firebrand and a public danger. That's the real Jesus, a manly man, for sure. And that feminization of Jesus, in some degree, has led to a feminization of the church in general and God's men. Let me give you one more quote. This is from her uh, book, Letters to a Diminished Church. If all men are offended by Christ, let them be offended. We do Jesus little war, uh, honor by watering down his personality until it wouldn't offend a fly. Surely it is not the business of men to adapt Christ to men, but to adapt men to Christ. Friends, we need to repent of any tendency uh, to feminize Jesus or make him politically correct. Uh, we need to preach the Bible, study the Bible as it's written, and, and, and receive all the beautiful assets, uh, uh, facets of Christ's personality, his love, his gentleness, his grace for sure, but never neglect his courage and his boldness to confront evil and to rebuke those who were the enemies of God. We need an army to rise up today, and it's got to come from the body of Christ. God is raising up an army, actually. I'm in it. I'm on board. I'm willing to fight. I'm willing to die for America and what she stands for, for the sake of my children, my grandchildren. Be a part of the army God is raising up. If we, if we stand up and resist evil and speak out when we need to speak out, God will bless us. God will bless America. God will make America great again. God bless you and God bless the United States. 